Thanks for joining me today. I think we're going to have a good time on this Pyrex adventure. Black is a popular Pyrex color. A lot of the black and white patterns came out in the 50s. I create different features, usually on a monthly basis. Now I've gathered up a lot of black Pyrex for a little table installation. That pattern is called Black Rooster. This Pyrex piece was presented in 1958. That casserole dish is called Black Tulip. It was presented in 1957. Here it is in a 1957 December ad. Ladies Home Journal. The Pyrex Museum is primarily in that large area over there. Lots of display cases and shelves. Everything has been securely installed shelves are attached to the walls attached to one another and also secured to the floor These two and a half quart bowls are some of the oldest in the museum. The green bowl was part of a nesting set called primary colors. You see I have the yellow and the red and the blue. Missing is the green. To identify these old bowls you will find under the bottom letters that say T period M period REG all three of these bowls say that but each of them also says something else added to that this is the oldest then the next and the next these were all presented in the mid and late 40s well, we really have a special guest today. These folks are from Sweden. They've come all the way from Sweden to see the Pyrex Museum. How about that? <laughs> but without the... Yes, this type, this form. And you said that you, you had these in Sweden? Yes, up? Yeah. yes, we had Pyrex yeah. in Sweden. Used to, uh, but I think it's uh, 40 years ago. Uh -huh. More than that. Yeah. I guess it's... Uh, My mother kept one uh, in the 1950s, died, 1940s and 50s, I think. Yeah. Hi! Bye. Hi. Come over here. I want to talk to you. I used to have a lot of Pyrex, like this one here. I love that. See this yellow bowl here? I used to make potato salad in that bowl. I love that Pyrex bowl there. I love it, I love it. Um, the pattern, if you have a list of the patterns, um, we in fact, the list, is, the list is right down here. Oh! I grew up with this pattern. 
You grew up with that pattern? I grew up with this pattern. There's two That's patterns. what my husband and I use now, our yeah. butterfly gold corral. That's great. It's beautiful. Wait, I'm looking behind. Oh, here's two sets of patterns. There's one here and one here. So this is one. I think they're very different. Am I right? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Lynn, there are two of them. There it is. Oh, boy. Gosh. That's fabulous. And look at here's the yeah. ocean filigree. Ocean filigree. I'm just so blown away that you have so many beautiful pieces. I love this. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And with the box. Oh my gosh. Snowflake. Oh, I like this. You see down there? That's me, right there. That whole set. What is that? I wish that I had a can of cream of mushroom soup from the 50s. I wonder if that Campbell's soup indicated the salt content. Did we know back then? Did we know? But oh, those green bean casseroles. I heard that they're doing a film next door. Let's go take a look. They're utilizing the Roxy Theater. That was fun. Definitely. Our mother had a oh, set yeah, of this. She did. She had that one. Right there. She had a set of this. Yeah, and she size. had this series as well. Did she have that wheat pattern? She had the wheat pattern. She did. She did. I had the blue one. Cornflower. Yes. We got these for our weddings in we the 1960s. Now, if you have the wheat, yes. that was only sold from New York to three counties in Washington state. Really? Because uh, Corning was mad at the Bon Marche for something they had done. They didn't know what to do with them. It could be because, and they were a big seller of the corn flour. So to settle the problem, it gets complicated business-wise, but I guess then they just offered them this. And I got that in 1965. I got the set and I still have it. <laughs> That's very popular, Spring Blossom. I guess so. It's very kitschy. Don't. I don't know what it was called. But. The small red one that uh, Mother had for the set also. These. I'm glad you found us today. Yeah, it's a really nice place. <laughs> and, <laughs> you're, yeah. and you're from? Portland. Portland, Oregon. Glad you found us. Come on in the Pyrex Museum and I'll show you around. Okay. okay. We all just love Pyrex. Yeah. Well, we love you for loving it. generation grew up with Pyrex. <laughs> yeah. You were saying you re you remember some of this? Oh, yes, I do. Because my, we ha I even had it in the 80s. I had lots oh, of Pyrex. Pyrex. Well, you mentioned, I think you Pyrex. mentioned this, didn't you? This, I had this bowls, a set of these, and then we had some of these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like this, a set of these dishes. And this would have been my mother's teacup because uh -huh. she, she had the red dishes. Oh, okay. My father had the green dishes. Thanks for sharing that. <laughs> it was easy to. It was real easy to set the table. <laughs> that craft you mentioned, it is the only one here that is a wine craft. I always thought this was very interesting. Grandma! Grandma! Come over here! Come over here! Look at this! Grandma! Grandma! I want 
What's in there? What is in there? It's, I think, it's cookie dough. Cookie dough. Grandma, come over here. Over here, come here, Grandma, quick. Over here, look at this. Look at that one. I think I am in love with Pyrex. Mmm, food. Grandma, I can't pick up your bowl. I want to take, I want to take this home, Grandma. It's yours. Let's Come on, Sunny girl. We have to get home now. Come on. Get out of that bowl. Okay, Grandma. Let's go. Bye. Bring Sunny back again. We have a lot of visitors to the Pyrex Museum. This is Mr. Clipper. That design is called Butterfly Gold. It is the second version presented in 1979. This Butterfly Gold version was introduced in 1972. You met Sunny, who thought that this bowl was her grandmother's this is called Spring Blossom. Pyrex introduced this in 1972 also. And these two Pyrex patterns are probably the most recognized by our visitors.